Could be anything in there. Anything in here. Look at this dust. This dirt. Filth. I mean, I don't happen overnight. Shane said that's the way you like it. I do like them dirty. I like them filthy. But we're going to find out. They spent thousands and thousands of dollars. They probably put this stuff in storage 20 some years ago and haven't touched it since. Steve? What's up, man? Sorry, I've never met you before. I buy all these units. I've been buying them for 15 years or so. They said you bought the unit I tried to bid on, so I was like trying to figure out who the heck this guy is. Any matters to you? Yeah. What's that? Any matters to you? Yeah. Well, it kind of matters to me. Like I said, I know everyone in this business. I never met you before. It's kind of weird that you just came in and bought this unit. That's I didn't. Cool. My guy said they didn't see you at the auction. That's cool. Good for them. You do. Clothes bids too. Clothes How do you see the unit without being here? Okay, that's just kind of weird. It's literally none of your business, dude. Now you're threatening me too? Are you cussing at me? I mean, how professional is this? I can cuss at him. I'm not on okay. The did you, so, you did you do a, a legal auction here today? Okay, so why did a gentleman that wasn't here bid on a unit that he never seen? It's a sealed bid. It's a sealed bid, right? How can he bid on a unit he never seen? You live, I can't wait to meet you outside. Like I said, over and over but again. But you did continue to address him after that. No, he kept coming up to me. I sat here and I said, the only thing I'm trying to do is wait for the police. All right, everybody. First, I got to give you all a warning. This video is not for children. In the video, there's a lot of cussing, um, threats, and things like that. So just right away, if you don't like that kind of stuff, don't watch this video. And if you guys are a supporter of the channel, thumbs up. Watch the video from beginning to end. Also, please contact the Ohio Attorney General because I've contacted all kinds of people. No one wants to help out. Contact the Ohio Attorney General to report what happened here. And it's real simple. There's a silent auction. This lady that works at the auction, the manager, she gets to see all the bids. She knows exactly the high bid. So she can easily take someone that might be her friend or boyfriend and put their bid as the highest bid. Okay, very simple. And that's what occurred. He wasn't at the auction. He didn't see it. And he actually, he just wins the best unit at the facility. Hmm. She acts like she knows nothing about it. Then she says, oh, you know, the owner could buy the unit and everything else. Well, that's all fine. But he's not the owner. How did he see it? He wasn't even at the auction. How did he bid? There's obviously backdoor shenanigans going on. It's definitely illegal. You can't do that. That's shill bidding, whatever it is. I try to call the Department of Agriculture. They don't want to help out. I need you out there to help out attorney general brook park mini storage i put all the information in this video i need you guys to call help out watch the video from beginning and once again warning there's lots of cussing later in the video but i buy this unit if you can watch it to help the algorithm thumbs up leave a comment beginning and everything to help push this out there people need to know what's going on and you guys enjoy the video Shh. it's a silent auction that's right i was busy i sent jeff and shame to a silent auction. And you guys never been to a silent auction? A silent auction is a little bit like this. What you have to do, they give you a piece of paper with the unit numbers, you write down your bid, you hand it in at the end, then they tell you if you want or not. Some shady stuff can happen. Some shady stuff might have happened this time, but this unit supposedly has been here for 20 years. And I haven't seen it yet. These guys saw it, they bought it for $120 best things you don't even have to spend 120 dollars you don't got to go to silent auction it's free just subscribe hit that bell get all your notifications you guys don't want to miss units like this over 20 years in storage let's see what they put in 20 years ago and see is there anything in there worth they probably spent twenty thousand dollars or more on storing all this stuff probably way more but think about 20 years even if you spent twelve hundred dollars a year even if you spent that over 20 years that's twenty four thousand Well, this is the first you're seeing it now. Uh, yeah, I saw one little tiny picture. In. What do you think, boss? You like this one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look how deep it goes. Smoke. There could be anything in there. Anything in here. Look at this dust. This dirt. Filth. I mean, I don't happen overnight. Shane said that's the way you like it. I do like them dirty. I like them filthy. But we're going to find out. 
They spent thousands and thousands of dollars. They probably put this stuff in storage 20 some years ago and haven't touched it since. It's another time capsule. A time capsule for sure. So let's see what we got. Digital analog antenna. 360 Sports HD antenna. Not too shabby. What is this? <laughs> no way. Right off, off the, the rip. rip. Off the rip, get out. Toys. Oh. Game Boy Color, yellow. It's missing the back. It's got arcade, the fender and joust in there. But a yellow Game Boy, easily 30, 40 bucks without the back. Or maybe the back will be in there. Jewelry. Looks like a bracelet. That's heavy duty, too. Right off the rip. What else we got in here? Oh, maybe I should keep yeah. this in my pocket. <laughs> keep that one. Look at the rubber bands just stuck to it. Dried to it. For years and years. So, I don't know. Oh, it's a lighter. Oh, I thought it was fire, the little party favor thing. That's the first bag. Coat. Hey, can I just make a little comment about yes. getting to spend a little time with Shane today? Yeah. He is not silent Shane. That kid don't shut up. Have you ever noticed that? No. I, no, he, he's it's like, silent. Please shut up, Shane. No, he, he I don't know talks. Where you get silent unless you put Shane him on, on camera. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I don't know why he's not very talk, but yeah, other times. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Dirty slippers. Oh. I think he spoke while he was inhaling and while he was exhaling. <laughs> My, like one side of my brain hurt. It's just weird. Everything in plants. Ooh, what's this? I see some lighters in there. This is the new is, wallet. This is a weird unit already. This is gonna get crazy. The Leo. Leo the Lion. So let's let's just Star assume, Wars. Let's just assume that this box wasn't put in there 20 years ago. Okay. Right? At some point they. They didn't like put it all in here 20 years ago. But it still looks old, doesn't it? It's it this could be 20 years in here, didn't I mean? You yeah. think? I mean definitely. Look at this. Zippo lighter. I mean these bags uh, are full of goodness. I'm gonna fill my pockets up here. So I all was all sellable stuff here. I was trying to get myself out of anything to do with this, but you're getting pretty happy already, I think. I think that's it's either sterling or gold. Probably sterling silver. Yeah, I'm getting happy. I think we almost got our money back. We're only in the first bag. <laughs> so I'm finding jewel. Oh, look at that. Diamond ring. Probably costume jewelry, but still. I mean, Game Boy, jewelry, and this thing. And this thing. Whatever this thing is. Meow. That's Happy Cat. That's Happy Cat. I'm a Happy Cat. So I couldn't make it to the auction. I was out looking at the stuff for consigners. So I sent Shane and just Jeff. So I had to send each of them to keep the other one in control. <laughs> that was my plan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Jackson 5. And they're in there. So for the first box... I mean, put a value on it, Jeff. I'm not good at that type of stuff, but like you said, 30, there's got to be 50 bucks there. So, 50 bucks, it's not bad for the first box. There's definitely going to be lots of garbage in here, but in our business, if you can't move garbage, you can't be in this business. <laughs> I like this. That's Look the at the truth. Snickers. Try, try me. I'll make you famous. <laughs> <laughs> so we got old wrestling stickers. So we could have some vintage toys in here. Obviously, we already found video games. We could have tons of video game systems. It's a little scrapbook. And the person actually passed away that had this unit. It said 20 years. 20 years and they passed away. Pillowcases, closet. That's what's in there. Huh. It's uh, filthy. Is there a newspaper there? It's dirty. Oh, look at Michael Jackson. 
These people are bigger than Michael. I'll see. This very newspaper. These are all scrapbooks. I mean, this paper has been used and abused by mice. But it looks like a what you call it section. I don't know if I'll have a. Here's a phone. Your new cell phone, Jeff. Footprints in the sand. Classic. Hmm. This box has a bunch of stuff in here that's been in here a long time. I mean, look at the applesauce. It's still good, Jeff. Let's see if we can see a date on top. It's all rusted. I don't know. 826 something. Don't stop believing. State Farm. That's a crystal top for something. What is this? Some kind of pen. Some pens can be gold, silver. I don't know what's up with this person. Definitely very strange. Oh my gosh. Look how dirty that fan is. Either. And that's the issue when you buy storage units like this. A lot of stuff is hard. You could sell a lot of stuff, but just the time it costs you to clean it all might not be worth the value of the stuff. Like here's some Pyrex right there. That's nice. Not too bad because it was on this side of the box. It stayed clean. Look at the top of that box. Yeah. Chris. Thank you. Look. Looks like all blankets. Oh my god. We've got what? That's been in there. Holy. I only had a pocket knife. Oh wait, oh wait. I got a you razor came, blade, even better. You came prepared today. Oh my gosh, this thing's never been used. This is the sharpest razor blade. Woo. Better keep that away from Jeff. <laughs> Those were like a lot of stretch bands. <laughs> earrings but we're finding jewelry and some kind of potpourri this is gonna be one of those units no rhyme there's something in there what does Shane say we're gonna find jewelry right did he say that yeah he said that Santa Claus Sandy 2012 that's 10 years. That's 10 years. So. They can have been taking stuff like Jeff said, front and back. WW of Magazine. Jericho, what year is this thing? 2003. April. We gotta look at like vintage t-shirts, all kind of stuff like that. We gotta be able to look up for and Campbell's soup, or soup. No rhyme, no reason. Typical unit. I'm glad my guys bought it. I don't like it that they bought it, but I'm glad they bought it. Well, there's no, it's a love-hate relationship with these well, kind of units. We're gonna... 2013. We'll, we'll mark how early you are in now, and then if you're gonna say that half the way back and all the way back. Well, we know we got some this old 90s furniture been trashed and junk. You know we've had mice in this unit, but every box it says clothes only on it. Probably we've opened one box so far where it was marked was what was in there. So I'm assuming they're all the boxes with whatever is marked on there will probably be in there. And it is all clothes. But in a unit like this, vintage t-shirts could be worth hundred dollars a piece. They only spent a hundred and ten dollars on a unit. I mean, just look at this. This is how the people stored their stuff. There's a little unicorn down here. I mean, random cups and LTV steel. Be safe in '94. And our, we always ask ourselves, why do people store this? And Jeff's famous line: "Definitely not professional packers." 
Let's say not. <laughs> Definitely not professional tankers. So, oh, all right, I like that. Oh, these little swirls. He's been in there so long. The big boy bank. 2001 date on him. He's worth a few bucks. What else is in here? Some kind of Scooby Doo. <laughs> Jack or lantern? Tis the season. Good time of the year. Oh, look at this. A little Halloween action. Some kind of server play. I mean, this is just in a bag of randomness. There's broken nativity set. Cat in the hat. Movie storybook. A box of randomness. I mean, here's another box. Looks like a mouse got in here. Ooh, there we go. Proud to be an American lighter. What else is in this rat mouse infested nastiness? Is it hand lotion? <laughs> Toothpaste. There, there was some ketchup in there. Partially eaten. Ugh. Filthy. Nasty. Dirt. Ooh. Dirty. This, you just don't know what you're going to pull out of this one. Anything's possible. You think these two were like quarters or? I think the stuff in the front's like the 10 year old stuff. We're working our way back in time. Back in time? Traveling back in time. Oh my gosh. What? Some kind of security badge? Jewelry. Pennies on the bottom of the tote. And dimes on the bottom of the tote. So we got money. <laughs> Weird pictures. <laughs> that look is how I felt right when I saw it with the hand on the forehead. This one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, could have, I had that exact feeling right when I saw the picture. I'm in Aaron. Huh. No clue. So this says odds and ends from table. So like I said, everything that's been on the box is what's been in the box, but I don't know what odds and ends means. Everyone's odds and ends are different. Put in the comments what you think your odds and ends are. Whew. We're about to find out. Money roll. That's odd. That's odd. Is this the ends? Ho ho ho! Earrings. That's an end. That's an end. End of your earlobe. Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Office, U.S. Marine Corps pencils. That's odd. They definitely have ends. I'm, I'm getting it. You got it? Buttons. So, oh, it's a cap for a thermos. There's some odds and ends. I'd say more odds than ends, though. I uh, mean, if I were. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a hat. That's a top end. Sponge. That could be bottom end. Folder. Dirty end. Huh. You get the picture, Jeff. I'm still going with those are all odds. If you were to ask me <laughs> what are the odds in this box, that's neat. The ears are missing though. Definitely detracts from the value. It is neat. Old toys. So what are you gonna say? Something about odds. If you were to ask me what are the odds, mm -hmm. I'd say about 10 or 12. 10, I don't know this. 10 or 12 odds in there. This is old school. It's like the Rubik's Puzzle Cube. Clown. Somebody's Barbie clothes or something. Very strange. Oh, look down there. <laughs> Chinese dragon, maybe? Lion? 
and uh, frog. Well, that's our eyes and ends, Joe. Yeah. That's a bunch of stuff. Scrub, scrub. So, so this is a ten by twenty. Yeah. And we're eight inches in. <laughs> From Santa. It's a collection. Hamilton collection. Brand new fairy. I'm assuming there's two of them. Boom. The Hamilton collection. Michael Jackson there. Oh. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Hannah Montana and Little Wayne. It's pretty much the same posters I got on my wall. Yeah. At home. Give or take one or two or all of them. That's oh. probably more than 10 years ago. That, those oh, posters yeah. seem like. Oh, oh man, he's going blur. Oh. oh. Look at one side of that pillow versus the other. <laughs> and like wow. this jean jacket oh, right here. Oh, man. So like this is all dusty there. This side like brand new. Just crazy. Once again, no rhyme. No reason there's clothes, there's glasses, there's sewing. Sewing stuff in here. Pill bottles. So we're making some progress. Look at the ground. Filthy, dirty, mouse poop, dust, dirt. Who knows? Stuff's been sitting here for a long time. <laughs> so, for anyone that thinks that this is all glamorous, yeah. some days not. Some days it's a filthy, dirty job. I should have that guy, Mike Ross, whatever, dirty jobs. Yeah. Come this out and do a thing job. with Jeff and me. About the dirtiest jobs around. It's always dirty, but it's fun. It is treasure hunting. Treasure hunting. Some kind of manual. Security officer handbook. Maybe we find a uh, little firearm or hair or something. Jeff, you never it's know. It's all the <laughs> badge, didn't you? Look at this. Bullets. Look at this. No rhyme, no reason. A fake firearm. Text Ritter. A bowling glove. A cell phone case. A vase. A plastic bug. One shoe. And a Fuel, a few bullets. And a, and a manual. What was the manual? Oh, that was a handbook, a gun person handbook, I mean a security officer handbook. 88 Browns. I've only found a thousand of these. McDonald's gave so many of these away <laughs> that year. Everyone got them. Paperwork. I mean, toothpaste, kids' papers. It's no rhyme. Here's another shoe, I think. More paperwork, a glove, a pair of gloves, dual max, batteries. I mean, this is ridiculous. Gas get greater, gator thing. Oh, oh look at it. It's a Barbie horse. Oh, it had wings or something on it. Now, this is this. Another jack o' lantern. No rhyme, no reason. Oh, look at Gizmo. Too bad his condition ain't too good, but he's worth a few bucks. Everyone loves Gizmo. Oh, there we go. Universal transistor radio. Some of these radios, that's a nice color, and like has a nice grill on there. That could be a $40 bill. As soon as you're about to give up and you find something, you're like, what else could be in this box? A magic scraper. That's what else. This dollhouse is almost as big as me, but it's seen some better days. Mostly everything in here seen better days, but there's got to be more treasures. What the heck? William something MD. Surgical instruments? Just once again. Didn't plan on finding that, did you? Plan on finding this, that's for sure. But this unit is full of unique surprises. 
And it's in a garbage can. What else is in a garbage can? Jewelry keeper. <laughs> Earrings, Michael Jackson necklace, priceless. More earrings. I mean, they look like all costume, but still, finding more jewelry. This, this is how they pack stuff. Garbage can. Look at that piece of carnival glass. It's a beautiful piece. Just sitting inside. What's that? I don't know. Oh, oh it's a cat. Cat. I think it's made of duct tape or something. <laughs> Looks like they put duct tape or something on the top of it. It's a plaster cat, I think. Beer mug. More jewelry. Headphones. Hey. Scooby Doo umbrella. This guy. One arm. Great reader books. Look. We'll have to go through all this stuff. So this is tough. Avon glass, earrings. In a, in a garbage can. In a garbage can. Love beers. Who puts who puts duct tape caps and earrings in a garbage can? Oh yeah, well who puts them? Oh my gosh. Uh -oh. You can't lift it out. What is it? I can't get it out. It's stuck in here. I think it's a giant Buddha statue. In the bottom of the garbage can. It's a giant Buddha. So, are Buddhas good luck? Yeah. Are you supposed to rub their belly? Well, that, that's a skinny Buddha. It's different Buddhas. My wife used to call me Buddha and rub my belly. Did it bring her good luck? <laughs> the guy, so. you, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, you that's can take that either way. That's debatable. I right. tell her she could have done worse. Kitchen stuff? Oh, yeah. Not that's much, but. That's a good mirror for you. Yeah. <laughs> Messenger 2, the Scarecrow. Wait, are those skivvies? If those are skivvies, get those out of the picture. What is that? I don't want to know. Some kind of religious metal. Kind of thing. Definitely personal stuff. Personal stuff. No, oh, Ryan. This this is the person's life. They passed away. They stored this stuff. Why? Who knows why? For years. For years. Close. All right, we're working our way back there. There's a lot of stuff in this unit. It's packed. It's stacked. There's a lot of garbage. Don't get us wrong. Who knows? There's, I mean, look at the dirt and dust down here. Definitely one of the dirtiest units I've ever had. I guess in dirty underwear. Or whatever it is in there. It's not making me smile, Jeff. Ten to ten to twenty thousand dollars to rent this for that long. Yeah, what do they keep in here? We're gonna find out. Oh, here was that Buddha statue. He's got a little chip on the nose, but uh, meditative state. Ooh, what's that? What the heck is that? Oh, look at that. The Monster Express? Universal Monsters Train? That's pretty neat. I just know monster stuff's always big money. I'm gonna guess fifty dollars. You think? Just because it's monsters. And mm -hmm. anything I've ever had that any Universal monster stuff always brings money. People collect it. I was not expecting to find that. Look at how filthy, dirty. Oh, the glass rose. You know, I always give those to my wife, and I say, "Baby, just like my love, it never dies." About that. Why are you laughing at my? I'm sure she laughs too. No. She says, I know, baby. I don't know what that is. Violence, it's something, some kind of pen. Very strange unit. Jeff says they're always strange. 
This one, he can't even blame on me buying it. I think we can. What? Every indication was shown was this is the one you wanted to buy. No, this you was, got... This was your favorite one. Well, yeah, out of all the units, all the units, they weren't that great. But this one was here for 20 years, so I always like to see what someone's willing to put away for 20 years. And you always got a chance to find vintage goodness. Because it's 20 years in here. Some toys, the video games, the jewelry. You just don't know what you're going to find. Look at, look at that. Did you see that? Um, Excellent. Underneath the purse. The, the What's that black thing? Penguin. Yeah, penguin. That's a cool looking penguin. That's a party penguin. He's a party penguin. That reminds me of you. Party penguin. Here's a ring. Just another ring. Just sitting on top of a garbage bag. Inside of a box. box. Pink flamingo. There's no rhyme. <laughs> no reason. I mean, pretty much half the stuff is garbage or more than half the stuff, but we got to find the treasure mixed in with the trash. I'm pretty sure so far you got a half a toe of good stuff. Whew. Yep. But, like Jeff said, there's going to be something in here. There's going to be something. It's in here. That's going to make me jump up and down, he says. Yeah. We're going to find out. Is it this? I'm telling you right now. Yeah, that's cool. I got a feeling. Picture of Cleveland? I'm not sure if it's my... That's not Cleveland. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's my panties bunching up or a, a feeling about this locker, but I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Ooh. Lunchbox. We were just talking about the uh, gentleman just brought a bunch of lunchboxes to us today. Lunchboxes always bring my ass a Hercules. Hercules. Do you say the plastic ones do good too? Oh, they can all sell well. People collect them. Hey, let me just throw this out. You're going to have to start at the top of the pile. I know you want to I'm dig in that bottom. Personal items closet. <laughs> oh. What does that mean, Jeff? I don't know. What do I have that's personal items in my closet? We don't want to hear about this, Jeff. This is a PG show. Mm -hmm. You know the ironic thing about it? We have a pretty good sized walk-in closet. Uh-huh. I pretty much get to use none of it. I can imagine that. My wife has a full, so. If yeah, really we have. had a walk-in closet, my wife would have a full. She wishes I don't she really have a closet. Okay. Yeah, the old brushes. Dinosaur. Brushes. Is there perfume? Is that at least perfume? Cock? I mean, a card to mom. I think that's a repurposed box. It's possible. I think the personal items out of the closet are gone. Or this is the personal items we're talking about. I mean, look at this randomness. Broken Eagle's Wing, Eiffel Tower, Simba. I mean, just complete and utter randomness. Then you start asking yourself, is a person crazy? You know, I didn't want to say it. Yeah. But I was going there. Oh, you're going there? There's something not right. Uh, how much money did they spend on storage? What did they keep? Where, where, where were they? I don't know. Why did they put the stuff in storage? That jewelry? It's just jewelry. Just jewelry. Just sitting inside a... Plastic bag. Pens. With pens. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's in here? <laughs> oh, cool. Nice. That's actually worth some money. Old wrestling magazines. Did you see he just got married again? Hogan? Yeah. Yeah. 1990. 1988. Is that vintage goodness? That's vintage goodness right there. Ooh, wrestling figures. So that's what we're looking for, the vintage toys. We got all those old wrestling magazines in here. And they're in a toast, so they're a little bit better shape. A little bit better shape. Some tapes. So, oh, Undertaker in 1991.
<laughs> Pretty cool. Inspector Gadget. Gadget Boy. You ever watch Inspector Gadget? I have. Inspector Gadget. Dun, 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 dun. You know what I watched last night? What's that? The 2017 version of Woody Woodpecker, where the people are people. I didn't hear it's a that cartoon. One. Was it good? <laughs> It was pretty funny. It kind of reminded me of Woody. Woody bounces off the walls just like you do. 100 miles an hour. You can paint your own pen. Got a little figure in here. Did you say paint your own pen? That's what it says. Paint your own pen. Oh. Perfume bottle. That's an old one. Just no rhyme. No reason. Broken. Snow globe. Just such randomness. I'm telling you though, we're not even five feet in. I know. We found jewelry, vintage video game stuff. And we even found John F. Kennedy. Bell. You pages? A giant eraser. That's the biggest eraser I've ever seen in my life. You know why they make big erasers? No. For big mistakes. Stone Cold says, yeah! You know, I got nothing. <laughs> you cracked me up, but I don't even know if you know how much you cracked me up. At least you're speechless for yeah. once. <laughs> Ball you're, jar. You're, you're funny. Oh, oh. you gotta be the, funny on uh, this kind of year. Trying to keep positive. There's definitely gonna be some treasure, but man, there is lots. Look how deep it's still so deep. And the bag's just falling apart. Soap, shampoos, lotions. That thing. Looks like for a cappuccino maker. Mm -hmm. Make a makeup. If this is one of those ones you find makeup, you can find jewelry. Pan opener, remote control, Chris Brown. Shoes. This is, this is one of them ones you find a can opener, you should find can goods. Oh, we did. We did. <laughs> we did. This looks like books, Jeff. I mean, heart, there's pencils in here. I was hoping there's a toy chest. This paper is 2004. American chain bracelet. I don't know. Scooby Doo. Trash book. There's no rhyme. No reason what so ever. You don't see many like this one, Jeff. Oh, look at that thing. What is that? Holy smokes. It's big and shiny. That could be fetting. I think it's a lamp. It is. Nice. Mm -hmm. you know. Holy smokes. It's a lamp post. Wow. That is a nice lamp. It's got the iridescent glass on there. Iridescent? What does that mean? It has a sheen on there. That's what it is, the. Yeah. It's not the shape. It's not aerodynamic, dinescent. Close. <coughs> Close. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's a pillow, but look at Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. So that's a good sign. They had a Pokemon pillow. We could find Pokemon cards, and this stuff's been in here long enough that it could be one of the first edition cards. So we could, could be money and Pokemon in here. Whoa. If I could get paid for the dirt and dust. You, you should see your shirt. I'd be rich. It's pretty. Whoa. Look at this. Brand new. Dirty teddy bear. Analog thing. A box. Inside a box. Brand new plastic containers. 
Are they Tupperware? Are they yeah, I think they're Tupperware. Green? They're a little bit cheaper than Tupperware, buddy. It's a locking bowl set. It's a locking bowl set. Open your own risk. What? Here, hold okay. on. You open the box. Let's, let's see. You, you take the Let box. Me. Oh, look at that. You open it. Come on, dude. No, I trust you. You read it. Oh, really? There's paperwork. I can come closer. I guess. <laughs> More paperwork. Oh, nice. Stupid little things, but they'll add up. Muddy Morphin Power Ranger towel. Some glass vases wrapped up, unfortunately. Not very well. And, is that our other one? Yeah, we got it. So now we got two of those. But as dumb as that sounds, that could be $20, $30 bill. Everyone likes Muddy Morphin Power Ranger. Almost there. Yeah. Which ranger would you be, Jeff? Uh, the Mighty Morphin one. I thought. It's heavy. It's not empty. It's full mouth poop. What's in it? What's in it? Let's hope something that's not junk. What I'm gonna go think? blankets. <laughs> what? What the heck? A frog. Outdoor little frog. That's kind of cool. It's got some character. It's got some patina. Batman glass. Do you like Batman glasses? Yeah. I like Batman. Anything. I already got those Batman glasses. I've had them for 30 years or so. Since that movie came out. Iron. Glassware, or whatever this box is, disintegrating. Now is that moisture coming from the floor? It's right in the middle of the locker. It's possible. The is thing that is that some of these units, they could have leaked 10 years ago and they refi they fixed them and the people might not even know because they haven't been in here. Could be. We got some more junk. Who knows what we're gonna find, who knows what we're gonna see. Hopefully, we find some treasure next episode. Steve? Steve? What's up, man? Sorry, I've never met you before. I buy all these units. I've been buying them for 15 years or so. They said you bought the unit I tried to bid on, so I was like trying to figure out who the heck this guy is. Any matters to you? Yeah. What's that? It matters to you? Yeah. Well, it kind of matters to me. Like I said, I know everyone in this business. I never met you before. It's kind of weird that you just came in and bought this unit. That's I didn't. Cool. My guy said they didn't see you at the auction. That's cool. Too. Closed biz, how would you see the unit without being here? That's a pretty to tell you. I can't tell details. <laughs> okay, that's just kind of weird. It's literally none of your business, dude. It is my I'm a licensed bonded auctioneer of the state of Ohio, so I just make sure everything's on the up and up, so it kinda makes me think something might not have been on up and up. You know what I'm saying? That's why I just I just want to make sure the auction process, I'm a licensed bond auctioneer for fifteen years. So I really things, don't care. I don't care if you don't care. I'm just letting you know that maybe something right, happened see wrong. See you later. Okay. It's kind of weird. Fuck out of my hair. <laughs> okay. I just want to make sure. Hope you guys ain't doing nothing illegal. That's all I'm saying. Well, it's illegal about... You weren't even here. I paid more than you for the fucking unit. Well, how do you know what I paid? Or put down? I don't know. On the unit. Oh. Do you, you work here? It. Does she work here? Huh? Does she work here? You work here? Anything, oh, okay. Any your business? No, it's my business. Trust me. You'll find out. It's my business. I'm just saying shady shit. What's that? Flight? Are you threatening me? Okay, that just one. You just threatened me on my face. You want me to call the police right now for a verbal threat? You can call them. You can call the police. I, I just came and asked you a question. You guys are getting defensive. Yeah, I did. I want to. That's none of your business, right? Uh, no, actually, I'm the one that rescued you. Okay, who's the? Are you supposed to be here? Yes, I am. I'm supposed to be here. I bought a unit today. I, I, you, you can put in blind bids. You can put in blind bids. I didn't see you here. Huh? I didn't see you here either. How do you know? If you were here. Okay. I'm just saying we know everybody in the auction business. 
I'm just saying, I just know everyone in the auction business. As of right now, if you were here buying shit, you don't belong here. I was here buying stuff, and I bought a unit, so I do belong here. I have the, I have the, you can ask me all the dumb questions you want. I'm licensed by an auctioneer, stable high, I've been doing this 15 years. I never met you or seen you before in my life, and I've been to every storage auction. I, I, I'm just saying I never met you before, so I wanted to introduce myself and say, oh, wow, you, a, you bought the unit I didn't buy. I did not walk up like a smart I asked you, Steve, and I, then you didn't even respond to me, and I asked you questions. How do you know my name? Because they said Steve bought the unit. The guy said Steve bought the unit. Who? They said Steve bought the unit. Who? You weren't even fucking She here. called everyone. Fuck out. Dude, she called everybody. Well, she's calling the cops now. Good. I, I'll wait for the cops to come. I'll be more than happy. i just been threatened. I have it on video. I'm glad. I am a lot on the stuff, so they have bought a storage unit. There's none in your name. I don't remember uh, giving you a storage unit. <laughs> I'm just saying, I bought a storage unit here. You could pull it out? No, no, he did not because. No. I did buy a storage unit. I have the combination and the key for the locker, officer, and I just been I just been threatened, and he said he's going to throw a punch me or whatever you wanted to do. I, I have a right to be here. No, you can come back during office hours then. Why don't you come back during office hours? I'm just saying. Okay, that's kind of shady, though. Don't you think that the person that works there bought the unit? Sometimes the owners buy the unit. Well, that's shady, too. That's not... I'm just saying. And I didn't buy the unit. How you doing, Robert? You can take pictures of me all you want. I'm. People all know who I am. You can ask them. Robert the auctioneer. They'll know. Auctioneer extraordinaire. You don't care. I know. I don't care either. You want to know what I do? I drill fucking underground. I drill underground. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. They're on the way. I'm going to meet him. Good. I'll go up there and meet him. I'm glad. Good. I'm I'm happy to see the police. I did nothing wrong. She just kicked you out. She came down. You gotta leave. If I see you back on the property. Okay. Well, I, well, I'll talk to the police, and I will make sure about this first. Okay. More threats. I love it. I have a right to be here, just like you. Correct. Time to go. I'm gonna go talk to the police when they come. Let's go. Okay. Let's go what are you gonna walk me out? Yeah, let's go. I don't. I don't listen to you. I don't listen to you, dude. I don't fucking listen to you, bitch. Okay, call me a bitch. That's really big. Like you think I what? You think you're gonna big? Oh, you threaten me? You think I'm afraid of you? Cops. What am I gonna tell the cops? I'll show them the video. Uh, I'm not here illegally. I have the keys to the storage unit. I have the keys to the storage unit. So how am I here illegally? I have the gate code. For the, the storage facility. How am I here illegally? It's time to go. Okay. Here after hours. It's time to go. Oh, she just okay. kicked you out. It's time to go. Okay. It's okay. like an owner of a fucking field kicking you off his field. I understand. That's good. I'm glad I'm a Karen. No, I bet. I'm, a, I'm glad I'm a Karen. Fucking phone on you. I'm glad I'm a Karen. What, if I didn't have my phone, so that, that's, that's stopping you, you my phone? phone on. That's saving you. Oh, that's saving me. So what are you going to do? Beat, you would beat me down? Is that what you're saying? You're a big man threatening people? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? I don't have to answer Exactly. Grow up, dude. I'm probably older than you, mother. Probably, and you should grow up by now and say, oh, you're going to threaten you people because I threat, asked you a question. Get the fuck out. Obviously, you did something wrong. Why are you so defensive, dude? Why are you coming and asking me dumbass questions? Because I've been doing this for a long time. I never met you before. I never met you before. That's all. I don't all. give a fuck. I don't care. I just asked you a question. I like meeting new people, motherfucker. Well, that's good. Well, my name's Robert. I don't give a fuck. I like meeting you, Steve. Why you know my name? Because she came out and said Steve won the unit, and everyone's like, "Who's Steve?" You told me a guy fucking told you my name, motherfucker. No, the, they, you say you told she you. came out and said she, told you. she You're said. Just now saying she told no, you. I said she Don't came out. Lie to me. Dude, I'm not lying to you. I'm telling I'll you the truth. Catch you out there, and I'll fucking knock you out. Go ahead, I, knock me out. I'd like to see you knock me out. Okay, you're gonna well, threaten me more. Yeah. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go talk to the police as soon as they show up. I'm just waiting for the police to show up. I'm more than happy to speak with them. Uh, open the gate, I'll leave. Uh, okay. I, when the police warn me about the criminal trespassing, I'll leave, but I have a right to be here, number one. Number two, I've been I've been threatened, and he just told me, he just threatened me again. Right in the office and pull out the list of people that won units. Okay. His name is not on there. Okay. What's your name? We'll tell the police that. Now you're threatening me too? You're cussing at me? I mean, how professional is this? I can cuss at him. I'm not 
Okay. Did you? So, did you do a, a legal auction here today? Okay. So why did a gentleman that wasn't here bid on a unit that he never seen? It's a sealed bid, right? How can he bid on you and he never seen? I'm just asking questions. You're the manager. There's a there's a law, lien law in Ohio State, right? The state of Ohio that you have to file. The law to auction off people's property that's in a storage facility. The Ohio lien law? No. I said I want to talk to the police. I said open the gate then. I have the gate code. I have permission. I did not give you the gate code. Okay. I just like to talk to the police. I'd be more than happy to. Thank you. Good. They're coming. Everybody, so legal activity has occurred at the storage facility. I caught him in the act of committing a legal activity. So now I'm waiting for the manager, the police to come. Blah, blah, blah. So we'll see. Hopefully they'll show up. I guess I'll sit over here and wait for the police. I told them to come over. I'm, I'm glad you. Uh, no fucking keep. Me too. Me. I move backwards. I told them to come in. Keep cussing at me, dude. I told them to come through. Then open the gate. Open the gate, then. Open the gate. I do. I was waiting for the police. Okay. Okay. I have the code. I'll be happy to show them. And I got the receipt. I got the receipt, the code, and the lock. And you threatened me about three times. I said open it. If you want to open, open it. I didn't. I didn't see any rules. Open the gate, dude. Why are you yelling at me to open the gate? I'm waiting for the cops to get here. Getting nervous. Why, why would well, I be you nervous? Just said you were going to go through on their code. Motherfucker. I didn't say go through on their code. I said uh, I'm not trespassing. Code, I have the code right in my phone. What's your code? Why do I need to tell you? I'll you tell the police. I'm more than happy to talk to the police. You're more than happy to get the fuck out of here. If you were in my house, you'd be dead. Your right. house, right. motherfucker. These people only have a certain amount of time. Don't open the gate and let them come through. Why? Why is it my problem? I will move out of their way. It's real simple. Get the fuck out. Use your fucking code, uh, He will not let me leave, so he's technically kidnapping me right now. He's refusing to let me off the property. So look at this. He's refusing to let me go. Are you going to let me pass or no? That's good. I'm glad. I'm, your threats are really scaring me, bro. What did I say? You said you're going to F me? Uh, I'm waiting, buddy. How close you want to get to my car, bro? Okay. Yeah, I did five times, bro. For the cops, though. Okay, then move. Up. Open the gate. Dude, I told you five times I'm waiting for right, the police. Well, I'm going to apply for the security job, and I'm going to come back out here, and I'm going to beat your fucking ass. Good. All right? Do it. How about that? Go apply for it and come beat my ass. Come on your fucking truck. Fuck out. Dude. <laughs> this is so funny, man. It's so funny, man. I'm going to put you on YouTube. I'm the coolest dude ever. I'm yeah. going to find you on YouTube. Yeah, I'm really the coolest dude ever. Right? You can find me. You can find me. I'm, 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 dude, I'm on West 53rd, Lorraine. Come down anytime you want. That's where I'm at. It's real simple. What? 2015 West 30. You think I'm afraid, dude? I'm not afraid. I'm not scared. I'm, I'm just want to talk to the police. That's they're it. Never gonna come. You know they're not. Why? Because they're fucking Cleveland cops. Well, I'm waiting for them. I don't know what to do. I want to talk it's to them. Time to leave. That's what it's time for. I'm and trying. She's going to leave. While you're just open the gate. Here. I'll leave. While you're fucking stuck here, you're stuck here all night. I'm not gonna be stuck here all night. I bet you are. Okay. Call your fat friend back. He probably has a code. Oh, I have a code, dude. I'm surprised you haven't called them yet. Why would I call anybody? The only person I'm about to call is the police again and see if they were going to come. Call them. That's it. You didn't call them in the first place. No, I know. I waited for her. She called them twice. How am I in the wrong? What did I do wrong? Because you're trespassing. How'd you get in? Uh, with my gate code. What, the same, 
Why would I tell you? What, who are you? You don't even work here, dude. What did you get? You don't even work here. Even you threatened me. You stuff. said all this other crap. Obviously, you're her boyfriend. You guys did an illegal scam, you and now you're upset about it, and then you're trying to throw it all on me like I did something wrong. You guys did something wrong. You How actually broke the law. How much did you bid? You actually broke the law. Okay, how did you see the unit? How much did you bid? How did you see the unit? How much did you bid? How did you see the unit? It doesn't matter. How much? Oh, yes. How are you doing today? I wasn't sure who I needed to call. Um, I was at a storage facility here. I bought a storage unit, and then I just went over to talk to the person. I found out the manager illegally bid on a unit. Then her boyfriend started verbally threatening me, threatening to beat me up, all this other stuff, cussing at me, get the F out of here, da 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 You have no right to be here. I'm like, I bought a storage unit. I have a right to be here. And... You know, he kept being verbally assaulting me. I have it all on videotape, and I just didn't know. I've been. She said she called the police, but it's been like an hour. And no one showed up. I said I want to talk to the police. I'm more than happy to talk to the police. You guys are doing illegal activities, and you're sitting there threatening me. And I don't feel. Um, where did this happen at? It's happened at Brook Park Mini Storage. I'm called. I'm Robert. What can I do for you? All right, lots of stuff. I don't know how crazy. You get. I bought a storage unit here today. Okay. That storage unit. I'm sorry, I'm just videotaping. I know you're videotaping me too. I bought a storage unit. Okay. So you get a sheet of paper, you write down your bid. Okay, I bought one unit and I bid on another unit. The other unit someone else bought him. I was cleaning out my unit. I come around the corner and I seen the guy. I never seen the guy before and he wasn't at the auction. So I go over and said, hey, Steve, because that's a lady said Steve won the auction. I said, hey, how you doing? And I said, I never met you before. I've been doing this 15 years, licensed bonded auctioneer. I said, that's kind of strange you bought a unit and you weren't even here because you have to see the unit to write a bid down so they're like, oh don't worry about that and i'm like okay i said i just want they're like it's not your fucking business i said well it's kind of my business because i'm always buying an auctioneer and there's a, if illegal activities are occurring at an auction it kind of puts up a red flag for me like why why is something illegal happening here and the lady's like you gotta get out of here you're trespassing i said you have no right to be here i said well i have a gate code i have a lock i bought a unit you didn't buy no unit here da, 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 da. i said my guys they bought the unit here today I have, the, I have the receipt, I have the lock for the unit, and everything else. So they're still back there at the unit. But my whole thing is, one, is it's a silent bid. She's looking at all the bids and putting down the highest bid for the unit they wanted. She already went into the unit, seen the unit, okay? So that's illegal, okay? okay. Number two, the guy threatened me multiple times. Tell me, and then I say, I can't be here. Well, I have a unit, so how am I going to clean out the unit? Okay, and now I don't know if this illegal activity is happening... What other illegal stuff's happening? Did they set up my unit? Is my unit even real? Is it just, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Did they already go through the unit? So right. a bunch of fraud could have happened right now. So that's... Okay. I got you. You're going to have to forgive me because I'm not very familiar with auctions. Right. Um, so you don't currently own a unit until today. That's Correct. I bought it at an auction, so I own it until it's cleaned you, up. Like, how, is this an online auction? No, it's a silent thing. So they give you a sheet of paper, you walk around to each of the units, and okay. then you fill so out your thing. So it's inside the thing, they're right. having a... An and event. then at the end, she collects them, okay. the manager. She goes inside and tells you who won. Okay. But when they call the people that won, the one guy that won wasn't even here. And the other guys, they're like, who this, who's this Steve guy that won the auction? They're like, we don't know no Steve. Well, it's her boyfriend, the manager's boyfriend. Okay, yeah. so I called him out on it, then is, he started threatening Is this person involved? I, I don't know. Because I, uh, yeah. I don't know if they, if they called or whatnot. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the guy. That's the that threatened me. And I got on okay. video. I got on video what he threatened me with and everything else. And like I said, the issue comes, the two, the two issues are one, I just went in and asked him a question and everything else, and something illegal. Did you exchange, did you give them money for this? We song? bought the unit, yes. Okay. And there's a $100 deposit. For the unit, so you, I, but she said I'm not allowed back here anymore. So I don't know how I'm going to clean out my unit or get my deposit okay. back. This Number is one, other, this, is the other lady. this is Lady. She's okay. the manager of the facility. I got you. Just give me one second. Let me get their sign. I'll, I'll be back with you. Okay. More than happy. And like I said, I have the the video evidence for you afterwards. everybody so this is where we're at police have been called they're talking to her right now I have the video evidence we'll go from there but I'm definitely gonna pursue this illegal stuff's happening at storage facilities we can't let it happen anymore things need to be stopped you can't just go around screwing people over it is wrong okay and that is why I'm here that's why I'm doing this I've already wasted two hours of my time I could be home eating dinner with my kids playing with my kids hanging out with my family but instead I'm here because 
people are screwing other people over. And I don't appreciate it. I really don't appreciate it. I believe, I, like I said, I mean, for, for I'll the, call Sasha up. I'll figure yeah, out the predicament. I, I, I but the thing this, is that, I mean, at this point in time, like I said, you know, I've been threatened. Illegal activity goes on. I got plenty of video. Like I said, I guess I need to contact the Department of Agriculture, my lawyer, and everything else in here. And like I said, if, if you, but like I said, I mean, trust me, you guys. I know you guys don't understand the, the severity of the crime that occurred, and I know you guys don't know the law that well on the auction part. But trust me, it's. You're talking about a bunch of crimes, felonies, fraud. I mean, this is big time stuff. You're each of these facilities. You know, when they run a storage unit, that's your house. You know what I'm saying? And they have certain. They can't. It's just like a landlord. You can't just go and say, "Oh, I'm going to throw all your stuff on the curb." So, that's illegal. So okay. If, so if that is the case, then definitely report to. Well, that's that's why well, I called you guys. Right, I, I was well, hoping you guys would do something about the illegal stuff. But okay, right, I, right now, I haven't. Went, I haven't witnessed anything, to my knowledge, or my training that. Would indicate that there was a legal activity. If there's more stuff that you're saying, well, should, how did he buy the unit if he wasn't here? I'm just saying those are the questions you guys should be asking. I'm just saying to get to the bottom of it. Those are going to be those are going to be matters, those are going to be simple matters. It falls like under an auction like that, Department of Agriculture, like you're saying. There's different crime codes that we are not permitted to charge under that have to be handled from different state departments. Um, so, so you're saying not, I need to contact the sheriff department? No, no sheriff department would handle I'm saying that's who took care of this for the other guy. So the sheriff department handles manners of uh, evictions, uh, forceful. So I, I believe to for them to be able to get auction off a unit, it has to be cleared through the sheriff's first. Uh, I think they have to present documentation to them about it. I think that's how that's how it works with the fiction processes for house, and I'd assume it'd be similar yeah, to would... this, but as far as the auction and the specific laws that fall under that, there's different departments. We're allowed to charge under criminal code for crimes against persons or crimes against property, and that, that would fall outside of our jurisdiction of what we're allowed to charge under. So uh, there, there's, state, there's state codes, there's local codes, and then there's ones from the state, but we are not given the power by the judge who... Uh, governs us to charge under those codes or to list anything. Right. And so, you're allowed, I mean, other question, are you allowed to verbally threaten people? Are you allowed to go around saying, I'm going to kick your ass, cut out of the car, I'll beat you up? Are you allowed to do that? I'm just asking. I don't know. I mean, you're not, but because it was engaged by both people and both people are... I never threatened him once, I'm not, I'm not physically saying, or anything else. I'm not so saying how's anything. I'm, just, I'm saying that the conversation was engaged, that both people had tempers flaring. I had no it, temper flare at all. I mean, were you not upset? I, I was not upset. I was I was asking if something illegal is happening. I wasn't upset. I kept my calm the whole time. You can watch the whole video. There's not okay, once I went crazy yelling. I'm going to kick your ass. I want to find out where you live. I can't wait to meet you outside. Okay. Like I said, over and over but again. But you did continue to address him after that. No, he kept coming up to me. I sat here and I said, the only thing I'm trying to do is wait for the police. If he's allowed to do that, I just want to know because I guess I can go around threatening people. I just didn't know you're allowed to okay. threaten people. And he said he's going to come to my building, so that's fine. So if something occurs, I just want to make sure I'm reporting it with you guys because something happens to me okay. because of him. How would okay, so. How would you like to proceed about that? I asked you if you if you wanted anything else. You said you wanted the you wanted the property. Right. You wanted the, the the owner's property, and that was it. I just if there was you, a crime you, committed. You, I just want the person that okay. is held responsible. I didn't do anything wrong. Only thing I did is buy a unit. Okay. I went and asked somebody why is something shady occurring because I know it happened. Like I said, it's it's it's. There's no idea. The guy wasn't here at the auction. All the people I know, I've been doing this 15 years. All the people at the auction, like, who the hell is Steve? There's no Steve. There's no Steve even here. Because they said, oh, Rob, you bought the unit because I was the highest bidder. Well, I guess I didn't buy the unit because he bought the unit. I said, if someone committed something wrong, I just want you guys to pursue it. That's all I want to do. What the guy threatened me. Sir, what have we been doing? I've been here. You guys, I don't know. I, I'm just saying he, he threatened me, and it's like you okay. guys came out accusing me and said, get out of here and leave. That's what they want you to do. That was the first thing you guys came out and told me after I'm the one that called you guys because I was waiting for the police you here. You said that you wanted the owner's name, the owner's contact info, and that's what I got for you, okay? Thank if you want, I'll do a report for you, but you have to go and press targets. You have to go down to the prosecutor's office. You have to be willing to do all that, and I, it doesn't seem like that's what you want to do here it seems like you was you want to so solve this issue with your property which unfortunately i can't help you with okay it seems like you want to get it resolved for for that i just don't want legal stuff like i said i mean like i said everything is recorded here i'm, I'm trying to assist right. you the best i can i really am right okay? i can get the information you guys got a card or something with the sure. case number and, and, if, you that, and huh? if you change your mind at any time you can always go down to the second district and file a report if there's no time limit it doesn't have to be done right this second but I'm trying to assist you the best of my ability, okay? I understand. I, I, I'm, yeah, it's just, just on my aspect. It's like, I get, I've been, I get you frustrated. I've been totally threatened, it, and, they, and they're freaking screwing people over, I, and it's just not I cool. get it. So, so I contacted the police. Police came. 
I gave them, I showed them video, everything else. They didn't really want to watch that much video. They really just wanted to get out of there. They kept trying to push it off as it is just a civil matter. Can't do something civilly about it. Nothing illegal or anything else. They did very little. I mean, they took my ID and everything else. They didn't even take the other people's ID. Did no investigation whatsoever. And I understand and understand everything else, but illegal things occur. So now I need you guys once again, contact the attorney general. Also, the owner of the facility. I'll put her LinkedIn information down here. We got to try to contact this lady. I don't even know if she knows what is going on, but she owns the facility. So contact her. Contact uh, attorney general. I appreciate you guys. Any support you can give. Thumbs up. Like I said, watch the video. Share it with all the people out there. We need to get this out there. We need to stop illegal things happening at storage facilities. Thank you for your support. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.